In this tutorial, we will give you a general overview on Adobe Illustrator. The first and foremost thing that you should keep in mind about Adobe Illustrator is that it is software that uses mathematical equations to draw on the canvas, and therefore the output is a vector-based output. Let's look at an example to further clarify this point. Over here, we have opened up the vector file of the HowTech logo in Adobe Illustrator. Side by side, we've also opened the JPEG file of the HowTech logo as well. Let's bring the JPEG image on the same canvas so that we can distinguish between the two. Now notice when we pick up the zoom tool from the toolbar on the left and zoom in the vector image, the artwork remains clear. No matter how much we expand the artwork, it won't get pixelated. This is the kind of artwork Illustrator is perfect for. Now if we zoom in on the image above, you can see that it's made up of pixels, meaning that it is a raster-based artwork. Although in certain cases, you might need to work with raster-based artwork, the whole purpose of working with Adobe Illustrator is to make vector-based illustrations. A common example would be logos, such as this one. Vector graphics are solely made up of anchor points and lines, and there are unlimited ways in which you can alter the artwork, according to your requirements. For example, let's pick up the Direct Selection tool, select the last two anchor points of the letter H over here, and stretch it downwards, like so. You can even choose different colors for individual objects on the canvas. This means that you can manipulate vector artwork very easily in Adobe Illustrator and move it around according to your requirements. Now on the other hand, when we click on the rasterized image above, you would notice that the whole image is just one component. That means we can't manipulate the artwork in any way since Illustrator works with each individual vector-based component and a raster image is treated as a single object. So if you're working with a photo image, there's very little what Illustrator can do to manipulate the artwork. On the other hand, there are infinite possibilities when it comes to vector-based artwork. We hope this general overview has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.